Hey guys, Andre again. I want to show you a little detail I did on on this Cincinnati machine that I'm, I'm working on and building with, you know, a lot of help. Uh, so, I think if, you saw, if you've seen the videos before, you know I'm running that uh, CNC for PC uh, controller with a UC300 controller and drive. I got my four axes connected already with a bigger power supply than the uh, before. So what I wanted to show you is the AC system on it. This machine came with an AC system on it. So what, what I did, uh, let's see if I can show you the whole details. Uh, there's not a lot of light here, but I'm gonna try anyway. So this machine, it came, uh, I don't know if you can see it there. This is the condenser, compressor, and the evaporator core is in here. Uh, the machine came like that. So that's the way uh, they used to cool down this machine. It was, you know, it was really full of stuff and and the, let's say the electronics on this machine, they probably had a lot of heat on it because it was pretty full with some empty now uh, with this new stuff. And so what I done is in order to run my AC system, which you will blow air, Kind of there's kind of a window back here a little hole i put this on because i wanted to blow air on top of the drives uh uh it's got a blower and the compressor so they used to come come on together let's say when the blower will come on the compressor will come on right away so what i did i kind of separated and 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 uh put me uh I put me a, a house, you know, just a regular domestic uh, thermostat inside the machine on the highest place of the machine. So, you know, heat will go up and the machine will do, it will blow air through that hole that I show you back there. It will come through this uh, screen or whatever, you know, metal screen looking is, and it will go up through those holes. It will go back into the let's say the ac i mean the uh the ac side i'm i'm talking about the uh, well not the ac side well the you know the spindle drive and all that is what i got the power and not the the axis drives the spindle drive and all that it will run over there and then go down into the system again and that's how recirculate the air and we'll cool it down so what i did from the thermostat, instead of turning on my uh, AC system, I went down into the, cause this is a really cool thing about this uh, controller. Uh, I went down into the, one of the inputs, cause it's got five ports. So I went, I used it two more inputs that I had. I, I still got a few more, but uh, I used the two inputs and I built me a brain let me see if I can show you the brain. Build me a brain. Uh, brain control. Now, you know, I call it uh, air. Anyway, so I built me a brain that my, this brain is gonna, when I, you know, when I hit uh, e-stop, which is, you know, invert uh, flip signal, when I hit my e-stop uh, and I get my thermostat on my fan on, it will kind of compare with both of them and it will do a timer for 10 seconds and then it will, my blower will come on, okay? And then after my blower comes on, I use the same output. In this case, it's output five, but you might use a different output. Uh, I use output five, so once my output five turns on i use my output five like an input so when my output five turns on that's going to be the input i'm using and then on input three it's going to be my other input that i'm using out of my uh 
thermostat. They will compare those and I'll put a timer up, you know, like I think it's uh, five minutes. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, five minutes. And then my compressor will come on. So let's say I just hit my uh, e-stop and I, uh, you know, sometimes you just use your e-stop for, you just want to jog the machine here and there. Your compressor don't have to come on right away. I mean, in my case, I don't want it to cool down that much for no reason. So I don't want my compressor coming in and on all the time because it will create pressure and it's hard for the compressor to come on and all that. So I'm just using the blower. If I stay longer with the e-stop than 10 seconds, after five minutes, then my compressor will come on if the machine is, uh, you know, uh, the machine is still running anyway. So that's how I run my, uh, my AC compressor or let's say the cooling system on this machine, which is uh, pretty much an AC system. All right, well, that's it. I just wanted to show you that uh, the cooling system on the machine is, is working already. Hooked up, it works good. Uh, it cools down extremely good, way too good because the machine now is empty and there's not pretty much no heat in it. Now the stuff, they, they don't get hot like probably they used to. There's a bunch of stuff in it that uh, they didn't use before. Well, that's it. Thank you.